Hello there, many thanks for joining us in our Tuesday Business News Report. It's now time to bring you the feature on the show today as we're looking at the state of the Nigerian economy. Now, against the backdrop that 91 million Nigerians now live below the poverty line, as disclosed by the Nigerian Energy uh, Economic Summit Group recently, 102 million Nigerians may just emerge below that base come this year. This is based on a forecast by the federal government that not less than 11 million Nigerians will be pushed into the poverty rank this year as a result of the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and other macroeconomic situations. Now, consequently, experts have urged the federal government to invest more in small and medium-sized enterprises and the agricultural sector to tackle the poverty rate in the country. According to some, the federal government should also give more incentives to the agri sector and its various value chains as the lead in order to spur interest and reduce the poverty line we have currently. Well, joining me now virtually to discuss this and more, I have Mayoko Ilo, an economist. Thank you very much for joining us on The Breakfast Show this morning, Mayoko. Yeah, thank you, David. Thank you for having me. Now, the poverty rate in Nigeria remains a very, very sensitive topic, with 102 million Nigerians uh, forecast this year to 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 fall under this line it means about 51 percent of the nation's population will be living below the poverty line one of the highest in the world now the international poverty line currently set is about a one dollar ninety cents an equivalent of about 800 naira a day which is the universal standard for measuring global poverty however the average nigerian can barely feed can barely transport themselves can barely pay for uh, energy costs and a whole lot more it's difficult living in nigeria how does this report come to you that an extra 11 million nigerians will likely fall under the poverty line rate this year uh well david they, this year there is actually nothing new in this report they are just uh, emphasizing what has uh been forecasted and emphasized even much earlier. The problem is uh, those uh, in charge of managing the economy are, are not doing a good job at it. Uh, they are trying in some respects, but when you don't allow yourselves to be data driven, uh, you have to match data with what it is you are trying to accomplish. Uh, let's put this uh, uh, 91 million poverty uh, in perspective. I was crunching some numbers earlier if uh, we have an average family of five people and you want them to to be on the poverty line maybe that takes about six seven dollars a day that would mean on average the household income must be at least maybe eighty thousand naira in a month and between you and me how much is the minimum wage thirty thousand let's say both the husband and the wives are working uh, they will be earning like sixty thousand in a month which is still much below so technically government is sentencing anybody uh, who, who is uh, in Nigeria to live officially below the poverty line. So it starts from there. Uh, if you look at the Sustainable Development Goals, 17 of them, if you focus on the first four, uh, talking about hunger, talking about uh, ending hunger, zero, uh, uh, zero hunger, uh, and the rest of it, uh, quality education, health care, and livelihoods, We'll be tackling this problem headlong, but we don't seem to have it wrapped up in, in the things we want to do. Hmm. There seems to be too much focus on uh, making those who are already well off even much better well off. Uh, if Lagos State, for instance, is tackling poverty, by now we should have resolved the issue of Makoko. Look at the quality of, the quality of life of people living there. We can't be paying leave service to, to the weakest and the, and the least among us and saying we want to move forward. A, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. So we should focus on the vulnerable, we should focus on those who are out of school, focus on those who, who don't have access to education. i give you another statistics. The median age in Nigeria is 18 years. That means about 50 million, 50% 50 of the people in Nigeria are, are below 18 years. Now imagine in the last 10 years, what has been government uh, effort as tackling uh, unemployment? It, it's, it's near zero. And meanwhile, we are giving back like, uh, like rats, pardon the language. The, the population is growing, the economy is not growing. If your uh, population is growing at 3% per annum and your, your, your economy is growing at 2.8, you're actually uh, going down. It's not really growing in real terms. So these are the issues that need to be focused on. The youth of this country now, if you've been listening to news over the past one year, you see them going into one social vice or the other. Mm. 
government should know that this is unemployment that is speaking to all. If you don't do anything about it, you are going to be in problem. Uh, the Yoruba Arab is saying that the child you refuse to develop, we, we end up selling the house we've developed. So we are all living on uh, on borrowed time here. If we don't focus on the unemployed in society, we don't focus on those who are out of school. Uh, recently, there was in the news too that the so-called price pyramid that we were, we were doing in Abuja some weeks back, there's a lot of scam involved in it. I want government to investigate it. If people can go as far as deceiving even the president of the Federal Republic, you can imagine what people will do. Uh, it seems our moral compass are, has been lost somewhere, and uh, anybody does just does something these days just to, to go by without thinking of the larger consequences of the society. So it's a lot to unpack, but I want to believe that government maybe going forward, we, we see this as uh, something that needs to be done and focus on it uh, squarely over. Exactly. We need to deal with the martyrs quietly. Now, looking at the fact that we also have in the population census to take place this year as well, and this is a pre-election year, some argue that the focus of government largely will be on politics rather than governance. But now, bringing things into a clearer perspective, which you highlighted for the fact that the average Nigerian family of four uh, can barely even earn 90,000 Naira or above. We saw the signing of the 30,000 Naira uh, new minimum wage uh, into law, becoming an act in 2019, uh, repealing that of the 2011 Act. But it's almost four years down the line, and we still have many states still yet to adopt this minimum uh, wage regime of 30,000 Naira, to say the least. Others are finding it really difficult. What does this say about the body language of state governors and taking seriously the need to attend to the social welfare of the masses? Well, I think uh, the stakeholders, maybe at the federal, state, and even the local governments, you know that uh, the welfare of one is the welfare of all. If you don't focus on it, it will come back to haunt us. Uh, it used to be in those days that, that okay, Boko Haram was uh, uh, concerned with religion. Now they are not. They they go anywhere where they feel that they can they can uh, make headway. Now ISWAP has made Nigeria maybe the headquarters of their sub saharan operations. Why? Why is that? Why why not Ghana? Why not Togo? Why Nigeria? Is because there is an army of unemployed youth who feel that government is disconnected from them. Government doesn't care whether they exist or not. So when you offer them a, a, a $1,000, $500 here and there, and they look at it that this is even more than, these people have cared more than how government has cared for us. They join them. That's why they have missing, despite the best efforts of Nigerian military, uh, they have not been able to contain people. If you focus on infrastructure, focus on unemployment, focus on how do we get food to the average Nigerian who can't afford it, where is the social safety net? I can assure you that we have less issues to contend with. All these resources we are using to procure armor tanks and the rest of the military gadgets, maybe they should go more into, into focusing on the needs of the poor among us. And uh, we should think less of, of each of, all of ourselves as individuals and think, think more about the society. Michael, wrapping up our conversation at this point in time now, let's also bring in focus the Monetary Policy Committee meeting, which has just ended last week, and the reality on ground it brought to the fore. Food inflation remains one of the biggest uh, elements we have to deal with in terms of the macroeconomic indices we have as of now. Average Nigerians cannot feed. Are you one of those who would also propose that government needs to do more, incentivize agriculture, and also invest more in the value chain, and also looking at manufacturing? But the reality remains grim at this point in time. This is the last active year of the President uh, Muhammad Buhari administration, so not much can be done. Do you think we can have any sharp twist or any efforts to really reduce this 11 million that we might likely see fall under this poverty line? It's really worrisome. Uh, well, uh, at any time, because of the quantum of resources available to government, they can do they can do a lot. Even if you can't achieve everything in one year, you can set the benchmark. Uh, the problem with agriculture in the north, according to this senator that, that revealed the scam about uh, about the pyramid in Abuja, is that there's insecurity. People want to farm. People want to go to farm. Now, it's either you can't uh, plant your seed or you can't even be allowed to harvest seed. Less than two years ago, about uh, 70 people were beheaded in their farms up north, if you recollect. You understand? And, you know, the first rule of, of life is self-preservation. You don't want to risk your life uh, to go and produce when you know that your life may be at risk. So even down south here, yeah, people have, have had issues, you know, maybe farming. These are issues that government needs to contend with, provide security 
as, as a baseline for people to invest either in agriculture or in even going to farms or doing other things. So this is what I, I would think government will, will have to do. Mm. Yeah, there is no, no gain saying it. Focus on security for the people. Focus on education for the kids. Let us reduce the uh, number of out-of-school children among others and uh, Nigeria will be on the right track. Thank you so much for your time on The Breakfast Show this morning. Hopefully we see government take more decisive steps towards ensuring that we have the needs of the average Nigerian attended to. Thank you once again for your time. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.